Hello everyone, this is Kirk Olson and the purpose of this video is to show you how to program your Bluetooth capable GMRS Pro radio to your iPhone or Android device and program and set up the radio uh, in general, but also specifically for our purposes of doing our motorcycle ride across the country from Ontario, California to Washington, D.C. for Run for the Wall 2025 and beyond. And if you are listening to this video and are not familiar with what Run for the Wall is, Run for the Wall is a annual motorcycle event, motorcycle ride that goes across the country for a total of 10 days from California, crossing three routes, cross-country routes across the country, uh, central route, midway route and southern route across the country to Washington, D.C., um, culminating at the Vietnam Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C. And then from there, we do what's called the sandbox route. If you want to also participate in that, going to the uh, Desert Memorial in Marcel's, Illinois. Uh, if you want to know inf more information about Run for the Wall, please visit our website, which is www.rftw.us. Again, that's rftw.us. All right, let's get into programming these radios. So over the years, we have many years used CB radios for our on-road communications. And last year in 2024, in May of 2024, the central route of Run for the Wall piloted um, an updated communication system, which is these GMRS radios, which have a lot of advantages and capabilities, most notably longer range and longer reach and clearer communications. The other advantage is that these radios are Bluetooth, so you can Bluetooth them directly to your helmet uh, Bluetooth communication systems. So for example, if you use a, a Senna or Sina or a Cardo, for example, uh, these radios will Bluetooth straight to uh, those headsets. And I'll either in this video or a second video, I'll show you how to program and pair the radio to a uh, help Bluetooth helmet communication system like a Senna or Sina. But let's get into programming. The first thing you need to do is download the BTEC GMRS app from the Apple Store, uh, App Store, or the Google Play Store. As you can see, I've already got it on this particular iPhone here, and it's the app you're looking for is called BTEC GMRS, and it's this red looking icon with a radio in the middle. And that's the app that you're going to need. So what I'm going to do is launch that app. And the, as soon as you launch it, it comes up with your location, uh, wherever you are at. And it doesn't look like a lot because it's a map. Uh, but what you want to do is in the bottom left corner, there's this three line menu and you want to hit that. And then it's going to bring you to a screen that looks like this. So what we need to do is pair this app to the radio. Now, one thing that's very important that you understand is you do not pair the radio to the phone through the Bluetooth functionality of the, um, of the, of the phone. What I mean by that is what you do not do is do not go to say Bluetooth and then look for the device and and go other device and pair it like you would like on you know other Bluetooth devices. It's very imperative that you follow these steps because you're gonna pair the phone through the app to the radio and not the radio through the Bluetooth settings of the phone. So I hope that makes sense. You pair the Pair the phone to the radio through the app, not the phone to the radio. It's the app to the phone. So what I want to do is put the radio in Bluetooth pairing mode. And I'm going to go hit this rocking chair type button on the radio and hit that once. I'm going to hit the down arrows to go to general settings. Go hit this line menu for the OK. 
And then that brings me to a sub menu. Bluetooth settings is already highlighted. I'm gonna hit okay again. And here we are at the Bluetooth setting screen. And I wanna put this radio into pairing mode. And notice what happens over here on the app as soon as I hit the pairing button. Uh, I'm gonna hit select and immediate you immediately you'll see up here on the app that it says gmrs pro which is what the name of this radio is or what it is it's a gmrs pro radio from btech and so i'm going to hit that and it's going to ask me if i want it to pair and i'm going to say yes or pair and up pops a screen with all 22 gmrs channels and the eight or so repeater channels what we are concerned with i'm going to put this radio back at the main screen what we are concerned with here at the moment is all these different transmission channels what we're going to use on our motorcycle ride in may of 2025 is gmrs channel 22 and you'll notice on the app right here that it is right here on this square. So if I hit that, you'll notice that even on the radio, it says I was on GMRS channel 22. Now, if you did absolutely nothing, you're going to hear absolutely every single transmission on GMRS channel 22. Ultimately, that would probably be okay and fine, but you're gonna be hearing a lot of potentially unnecessary transmissions. So what we wanna do is make this a little bit more private. And so what's built into uh, the GMRS frequency ranges is what they call subtones or privacy tones. And what that really means is, is when you have those activated, those transmit and receive tones on the radios, um, your speaker on the phone will not open up unless it corresponds with a tone that you program it to hear. So in other words, you're only going to hear somebody else's radio if they're on the same tone uh, is in essence what we're doing so unlike cb radio for example you're not going to be hearing a whole bunch of ancillary transmissions the only transmissions you're going to hear by going through this next process i'm going to show you is transmissions that somebody else has their radio set up exactly the same way so what let's add those subtones so what i'm going to do is on this GMRS channel 22. I hit it once, that's how you change channels, right? You'll see the radio moving around to whatever channels I'm on. But I'm gonna put it back on 22, it's highlighted green. And I'm gonna hold it down for a couple of seconds. And as soon as you do that, it slides over to this menu. And just so you know, uh, GMRS channel 22 is actually frequency 462.7250 and so this gmrs channel 22 is set up to receive and transmit on that particular frequency 462.7250 but you can see here that the receive and the transmit tones are currently off what i want to do is turn those on so for our purposes for run for the wall and 2025 and going forward i'm going to put that to ctcss and then you'll see a whole bunch of privacy tones come up here on this spinning wheel and so the one we're going to use is 103.5 and i'm going to hit done you notice i did that for the receive subtone and i'm also going to do the same thing on the transmit subtone i'm going to go to ctc SS and also run that up to 103.5 hit done so now this particular uh, frequency is set up to transmit on GMRS channel 22 with the receive and transmit subtones of 103.5 megahertz again what that means is you will only hear and your radio will only open up if somebody else is transmitting on those exact same subtones so it's the radio transmissions aren't private but they're more private so you're not going to hear ancillary transmissions the most important thing to do after this step is hit the save button and you'll notice 
that after you hit the save button in the bottom left corner there, it says CTC. And even on the radio right here, it also says CTC, which means on this particular GMRS 22 channel, I've got the CTC, ACTC code activated. And again, in our for our purposes, that's going to be 103.5. It's that simple on how to program the radio. Some other features about the radio you can do, as you can see the radio right now is on GMRS channel 22. If I wanted to change it to GMRS 18, for example, I can hit that on the app, or I can change the radio channels by these two smaller buttons on the side. And if I just hit up, 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 up again, I'm back on 22, and you'll notice that it changed on the app as well. So everything I'm doing here with the app, uh, or the radio, or vice versa, it does automatically. So you don't have to program the radio, like I said, with a phone, but it does make it a little bit easier. But everything I'm doing here, um, you can do on the radio all by itself, and I'll show you how to do that as well. Uh, but again, the most important thing is GMRS channel 22, and make sure your receive and transmit subtones are on CTCSS and 103.5. And I'm just gonna hit cancel that because I've already done it. And then you make sure you hit the save up here. Now, another function of this radio is you can monitor a second channel if you want to. Um, what you can do is you can put the radio in dual or double channel mode. And I'll do that here by the app. And you'll notice that Things change up here at the top, and they also change on the radio. Uh, on the app, it's going to be red and black, and on the radio, it's going to be red with an arrow and white. Uh, what this really means, if you put the radio in this mode or what this capability is, you do not have to use it, but you can monitor two channels if you want to simultaneously. So if I wanted to set up a second channel to monitor and transmit on, I certainly could. So I could uh, do that. Uh, but what's very important is on the app, whatever's red is the channel that you're going to transmit on. Or on the screen of the radio, whatever's red and has the red arrow next to it is when you, the transmit button is pushed. That's the channel that you are transmitting on. And you're only listening to the other channel. So if I wanted to alternate that, which one I'm uh, gonna transmit on, on the radio, in this particular case, I'm transmitting and receiving on GMRS 22. If I hit the down arrow one time, now I'm still listening to GMRS 22, but you notice it turned white. Now I'm transmitting on GMRS 14. If I hit the transmit button and I want to transmit on GMRS 22, no one's going to hear me, but I'm monitoring it. If you want to transmit back up on GMRS 22, it's a one up arrow toggle back and forth. So that's how to monitor two channels at the, simultaneously at the same time, which you certainly can do. Um, and then secondary ancillary channels can be set up with their own CT codes if you want as well. Uh, or for run for the wall purposes, we're going to be using, you know, single channel mode all the time and everybody's going to be on, at least in the pack, is going to be on uh, GMRS 22, our road guards and platoon leadership as we go down the highway. Um, that's our running frequency. Um, one thing you want to also make sure of is these radios, they're uh, microelectronic devices and they are operated by software and firmware. You want to make sure that your firmware is up to date. This recording is being recorded in early October of 2024 and the latest and greatest as of today is firmware version 0.7.2. If you're, if you come to this Go hit this dial screen here, and if your firmware is something below that, you can certainly upgrade. I you 
advise you to upgrade it to the latest and greatest firmware but how you update it is you just go to the firmware version hit hit that it'll check for an update and it'll tell you if it is up to date or if it needs an update and if your radio does need an update it will tell it to you and you can download it and install it and it'll, it's a kind of an automatic process so that's the most important things that you want to do as far as programming the radio to the specific channels we're going to be using and then also updating the firmware the last thing uh, i want to show you how to do is personalize the radio because um there's we're gonna have several people you know our in, in our case we're run for the wall platoon leadership we're gonna have a lot of these radios around and so you might want to know that it's your specific radio when the radios come from the factory they come with usually a four digit code on the radio to identify the radio like in this case a1 df for example how you can change that and personalize it so you know it's yours if you go up here on the app and for this little people icon up here you hit that and go nick hit this nickname thing i'm gonna hit that whoops and there it is nick nick the nickname i'm gonna back up and you can call it whatever you want let's and my road name i'll use just as an example you can call it whatever you want i'm gonna call it pretty boy and then i'm gonna hit back and as soon as i hit back look what happens on the radio you'll see in blue right here it changed it from that and so i now i know that if someone finds this radio it's my radio the other thing that you can do as well is if you have more than one radio down the line you can also hit this gear button and up here where it says name i'm going to change it you know uh, just for simple you know if i'm hit say pb so gmrs pro pb for pretty boy save that means now that i know when even when i go back to this particular screen if I'm around other people that are activated, I know if I want to go play with my radio, I'm GMRS Pro P PB, for example, and I'm, I am connected to it. But that's how you change it for the app as well as the front screen of the radio. There's two places to do that. Again, I'll, I'll show you that again up here for the name of the radio. It's hit the person icon, change the name, and then here on the radio this the gear icon and then right uh, under the name there and that's how you do that and hit done and be done that is in essence the main things on how to program the radio one last thing i don't have one here but most everybody's getting a bluetooth um, push to talk button that you use straight away uh, program straight to the radio and how you do that is Go back to the Bluetooth settings, general settings, okay, Bluetooth settings. What you do is put this in pairing mode again, and then when you have that button in your hand, the, the Bluetooth push to talk button, you put it in pairing mode here, push the button once, and it will immediately pair automatically. It's that simple on how to pair that button. And then whenever you turn the radio on again, it will always have that remote button that you're gonna wrap around your handlebar or whatever, and to use that to push the button to transmit instead of the side transmit button, which is right here. Uh, that's about it for now. I'm gonna do another video or append this video with the, um, pairing it to a headset. Thanks for listening.